I'm here today to talk to you about kitchen towel or a tea towel and iron-ons from decorating your life. They can give your kitchen a quick freshen up or make a great hostess gift. You can use the iron-on in its entirety or you can, as I did here, or you can cut it up as I did with this one to give it my own little spin. Their packaging has this nice little red header on it and the inside the header are step-by-step -step instructions with a QR code that will take you to a video tutorial. These are completely machine washable after 24 hours. You can use them on 100% cotton, 100% uncoated polyester, or a cotton poly blend. I always remove my towels, I shouldn't say remove, wash my towels before I use them to remove any sizing from the manufacturing process. I usually pull, and I don't use fabric softener. I pull them out of the dryer when they're slightly damp, give them a good pressing flat. If I'm going to embellish them, I just did a simple jumbo rickrack on this one. I put that on before I decided how I was going to cut up the queen bee and place it. And again, you can see I cut it up to make it my own style, suit my own purposes. Here's another one that I did. I embellished with this beautiful sunflower print from uh, Andover, a little jumbo rickrack. And again, I cut it up and I put the bee down in the flowers. If you wanted rickrack and you don't have a sewing machine, you could hand stitch a row down the center or you can pin it and then put a stitch, even with a contrasting thread in each point of the rickrack. It's very cute. You can also add these darling little bee buttons wherever you wanted to place them. Hmm. Again, it's all auditioning before you decide the final item. So to do a successful iron-on, you're going to have your fabric pressed flat after it's been pre-washed. You're going to want to audition your design placement. While you're doing that, you're going to preheat your oven to 320 degrees, which is usually between the cotton and the linen setting on your iron, no steam. So you're gonna do a quick little on top of your fabric just to give it a little preheat. You're gonna put your item, your iron on on top of it, and you're gonna press firmly for 30 seconds. If your design is large enough that you need more than one iron placement, be sure you're getting the edges done real well. So that wasn't 30 seconds, but we're pretending that it was. If your plastic starts to warp, you see it's a little bit ruffled here. Sometimes it will be much more than that. Sometimes not at all. Um, that's perfectly normal. It's okay. So you want to let this cool completely before you start removing the plastic. And you just start peeling it. If it starts to lift up in one area, put your plastic back down. Iron pressing extremely hard on that area, or, or more firm, I guess would be a better term. And then you're just gonna slowly peel it off. Again, if you want to iron it, I mean wash it, you're going to let it sit for 24 hours. Now I could do a little embellishing on the bottom of this if I really wanted to now, but for the most part, you're gonna to wanna to get your um, embellishment done ahead of time. But it's cute just like this. It would be a fun, fast, quick hostess gift. Um, when we have our dish towels on sale, I usually stock up and then I'll have some iron-ons around just in case, or if I'm so inspired, I'll have a bunch already made up. 
so I can grab one for a last minute hostess gift. So again, tea towel, iron on from Designing Your Life, fun, fast, inexpensive gift for yourself or for a friend. Thanks for watching.